It's the beginning of July. You know what that means. It's time for me to go over uh, my June goals and also what quarter two looked like and what we're gonna be doing for Q3. Hi, my name is Dawn Dalton. I am a freelance writer and an author and I feel like this year is just zooming by. June is over and I'm not overly impressed with the number of empty check boxes that I have. Um, part of the problem I ran into is the last week of June, I did get sick and ended up spending four days basically laying in bed with a stomach bug. So a lot of the writing that I would normally catch up with on that weekend didn't get done. So how did I do? For the first goal of write four blog or medium posts, I wrote three. Uh, post four YouTube videos. Luckily, I had already had that one video edited before I got sick. So my last video of the month did go up on time. Uh, read four books. It was pretty much the only thing I could do while I wasn't feeling good, as well as doom scrolling TikTok. Uh, write 60 pages. I only wrote 50 this month, which doesn't put me to the goal that I want to be at, but that's still a healthy number of pages. Type up 30,000 words. I did 23,335 words. Again, short of my goal, but a respectable number of words for the month. Fill one notebook, I didn't because I didn't get any handwriting done while I was sick. Obviously, I paid my bills. My daily habits barely made 50%, part of that being the fact that I wasn't feeling good and didn't do most of them. Uh, finish a skein of yarn. I'm still working on the blanket for my reading corner, and I did not finish my 30-day challenge of crunches. So what does that mean for Q2? It means that of the 13 blogs or medium posts that I had set for myself, I only got seven done. I had every month be short. And I know part of that is the way that I had set up my schedule worked before I got my job. And now I need to retool my schedule to work better with the fact that I'm out of the house four days a week and usually pretty tired by the time I get home. And either that means I need to start taking a nap in the afternoon or I need to figure out just to schedule like a content creation day or two a month. Uh, read 13 books. I hit that goal perfectly. Uh, I actually ended up reading seven books for June. so. I'm doing really good on that goal. Uh, type up roll of the dice, which I did, and now I can move on to editing it. Uh, edit, press start, I did, and it's with my alpha reader, and apparently my alpha reader is done with it, so I do need to call my mom and get her notes on it. Draft, star shot, and howler. Um, I kind of finished that one kind of got it all typed up and realized I was missing huge chunks of the story. So it is back to the drawing board on that one. Uh, plot picking up the pieces. I did that. I didn't move all of the post-it notes for it because I got lazy right at the very end of the month and I was sick. I did do one 30 day challenge. That was my wall sits. I did not finish my one thing from my 101 things list. I should just drop that goal and jettison the notebook off of my bookcase. It's never going to get anything completed on there because I always forget that it's there. Read one craft or self-help book. I, I did finish The Heroine's Journey. It was not what I expected it to be, and I don't feel like it's as helpful as I hoped it would be. Um, 
fill three notebooks. I only filled one this quarter. Um, type up 91,000 words. I got darn close, even with two short months. I got darn close. I typed up 88,540 words in three months. <laughs> Uh, write 182 pages. I wrote 174, which again is, while well, short of my goal, is absolutely amazing that I have gotten that many words in three months. Because we're halfway through the year, I do want to go back and look at my yearly goals and see if there's anything I can really tick off. And the answer is no, <laughs> um, which at this point in the year, were I not breaking these goals down into quarterly and monthly uh, chunks, this would be really, really discouraging because nothing can get ticked off. But I am really close to my book goal for the year which is 50, 52 books. I'm already at 47 books for the year. Um, two of those are craft or self-help books. I just need to do two more for the mini goal. I am finishing up the current martial arts book I am reading, and that will tick off half of my martial arts goal. Um, I obviously have not finished writing four books. I am almost halfway through my word goal of typing up uh, 366,000 words, and I'm almost halfway through writing 732 pages. I am halfway through my publishing goal for the year, which is to publish two books. I already obviously published uh, prep, or Game On. And I am five twelfths of the way through filling my notebooks for the year. For the most part, doing pretty good. I did already meet and exceed one of my social media goals for the year, but the other ones are kind of low. Other things that I started at the beginning of the year uh, with my use it up year, I am rapidly running out of my pens, which is amazing that I have made it through most of my pens because I use Pilot G2 pens and each book I write is usually in its own color and holy guacamole have I had a ton of the same pens and I will be the first to admit that I have a problem with seeing them and spontaneously buying them. And I haven't done that in a very long time. Um, I did recently have to buy more purple ink because that's the color I use the most. That's what I use in my planner, in my commonplace notebook. It is my default color for when I don't know the feel of a story yet. But for the most part, uh, the drawers across the room have no more Pilot G2 pens. The universe box that sits on my desk is like half empty. And I just reloaded my uh, stand of this. These are the colors I'm working with. Um, for Starshot and Holler, it was these dark blues. And this is the last of the dark blues, so I am going to have to switch to a slightly lighter blue, which is fine. My writer's notebook has been seeing lots of play, adding stuff to it uh, from, my common, from my commonplace notebook, um, moving some of the story ideas into Scrivener, into the docs that they're supposed to be in, uh, the fact that the beat sheet is in here makes it so much easier for me to just grab this and work on plotting out my books because I can flip to which section I am working on. 
Uh, I've used up a bunch of my crafting materials. My washi tape not only has everything been moved into the drawers for washi tape, it's actually starting to get kind of loose, which again is a really good feeling that I am actually using up the stuff that I bought. The problem being that we are now into back to school season and spooky season, and now the urge to buy another notebook or more washi tape is there. And I'm trying really hard to be good and only buy stuff as I'm using it up. So on to Q3. Again, did our HB90 goals. They haven't changed this entire year. Goal one is still to grow my writing career by actively drafting, editing, and publishing my novels. And I choose this goal because I want to build on the momentum of publishing game on. For this quarter, I'm going to be publishing Press Start. I'm also going to be editing Roll of the Dice, typing up Love in the Shadows, which is a standalone ninja book, uh, drafting Starshot and Howler, drafting Picking Up the Pieces, and plotting the second book in my Call Sign series. Goal two is to grow my freelance career by posting to my social media blog and medium platforms to grow my following, and then I just have them listed as to what they are, where I'm starting, and what 5, 10, or 5, 15, and 25% growth would look like. And I chose this goal because I want to connect with my followers and bring in some semi-passive income while furthering my writing career. Goal three is my health goal, and I just popped in there that I want to do a 30-day challenge and go for one hike. To achieve these bigger goals, Obviously, I want to write 13 blog or medium posts, read 13 books, publish Press Start, edit Roll of the Dice, type up Love in the Shadows, draft Starshot and Holler, draft Picking Up the Pieces, plot book two, 30-day challenge, uh, read one craft or self-help book, fill three notebooks, type 92,000 words, and write 184 pages which still seems like a lot. And when I redo the Kanban board will give me a lot of anxiety as to the number of projects that are on it, even though I will be down a, a single project off of the board. No, I won't because I will have to put up all the publishing stuff that needs to happen. So my board will actually be more full than it was in Q2 because one of my plotting goals will be replaced by uh, a publishing goal. What does that mean for July? It means that I have to write four blog or medium posts, post four YouTube videos, read four books, write 62 pages, and type up 31,000 words, fill one notebook, pay my bills, have my daily habits at at least 50%. I'm just going for consistency at this point. Finish one skein of yarn, and I'm going to be doing my 30-day challenge, which is jumping jacks, which will actually be a test for my shoulder to see if I have actually healed uh, some of the issues that I was having because I did tear out my shoulder a few years ago. And... Um, it's been on and off giving me fits. So what are your goals for this quarter? Do you do quarterly goals, monthly goals, or just no goals whatsoever? Let me know below and be sure to feed that algorithm, boop that like button and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye.